Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I decided to bring a beginner video introducing the context API. I'm going to go over how to create uh, contexts, how to create global states, a bit about state management in React. So this will be just a beginner video. And honestly, since context API, in my opinion, is a topic that a lot of beginners are afraid of, of learning and it just is there's the stigma behind it and i i just think it is a very simple topic once you understand it and i'll try my best just to explain it in the, in the quickest time possible so you can see here i have a very simple application it's nothing literally it's just a form where i can put a username for example pedro 5280 um that's my username. I put a password. The password doesn't do anything. But when I click login, you can see my username appears over here because it's almost like I logged into the application. And now uh, the application knows that I have that the user th that is logged in has a username Pedro5280. However, to build this, you can see I have this small React application here. Very simple. I'll, I'll even uh, zoom in so you guys can see. In my app.js, I just have a login component. And let me erase this I just have a login component which comes from here I have this login component over here and in the login also very simple I just have two states username and show profile and what happens is I have an input where I just set username whenever I write on that input I have the password which again I'm not doing anything to it and I have a button which basically uh, when I click on it it says set show profile and show profile will just if it is true, it will show the username. If it is false, it won't. So basically what we're doing here is we're setting the username and at the end, we're just like showing it when we click on login. So that's basically it for this application. But so how can we incorporate context API into this project? Well, very simply, we can actually not write all this logic in the same place because for example, imagine we want to have a how can I say a profile component, right? When I have a profile page, for example, we, we well, how do we access the username state that we have here? How do we actually have access to this? Because we might want to display our username in the profile. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let me create a profile uh, file over here, profile.js, a profile component. And I'll use the ES7 snippet to just say RFCE and it will just open up everything. If, if, if you don't know what this is, it is the ES7 snippet and VS code. I have a video on my best VS code extensions. If you guys want to check it out, I talk about this. But basically, I just created a component called profile, right? And I'll delete this. I'll delete this as well. The only thing I want in this profile is just like an H1 saying profile. And I don't know, like uh, an H2 saying <laughs> username. And I want to display the username over here. But how do I access the user that is logged in, right? How do I do that? Well, we can create a context to both of these components, pass variables through that context. So I'm going to set up uh, the project to accept that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And remember that the state show profile, let's imagine I want to have it over here in our app.js over here at the top. I have it like this. I'll even just import use state as well up here. Um, imagine I want to have show profile here at the top, right? And the only thing I want to do is basically I want to ask, well, if show profile is true, then I want to render the um, profile component, which is ju which just was imported right now. Else if show profile is not true, so I don't want to see the profile, let's just show the login component very simple logic right here I'm just showing the profile if it is logged in and if it is not I won't I will show the login you can see that if we refresh the page it is currently uh, true so let's like it, it's because we need to save all of this um, I'll save this as well let's refresh you'll see set show profile isn't true because we are still using this over here I'll just delete this right now um, right here and okay I'll delete this as well um, just to show you guys the example, right? So this should be the the project, right? Yeah, it's working out. So basically, we have this right here. And we now want to pass the same state between both of this components. So how do we actually do that? Well, what we can do is we can come over here and create a folder called contexts. And I usually like to create either a helpers folder or a context folder, you can call it whatever you want, let's call it contexts. And instead of here, let me create the the you the login context so let's call it login context it's just a file a javascript file which inside of here we're going to create our context so in order to create it it's very simple we can just import 
the create context um, function from react. And with this, we can now create a, co a context. So it's a variable. And let's give it a name. Um, let's call it login context, like the name of the file. So login context, and we're exporting it because we're going to access it in a different file. So we're going to create this this variable and set it equal to create context. And I usually just pass an empty object here at the end, you can pass an empty string, this literally doesn't matter. Um, like in the beginning, uh, just focus on just realize that this over here should create the context. And then what we can do is we can import this context in our parent component. So for example, we want to have a state that is accessible between the components login and profile. So we got to think, well, which one is the parent component of both of these components? Well, in this case is app.js, because we're rendering both profile and login in our app.js. So in our app.js, we're going to come over here and say import from dot slash um, contexts slash login context. So we're going to grab the login context from here. And now what we can do is we can uh, we can use this as a wrapper around our different components. So what do I mean by that? Well, you can see that around our profile our login, we can come over here and say login context. And I'll just close this right here. And I know it doesn't look perfect right now. But I'll show you guys what this means. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to wrap around the two components that you have uh, with the the login context. So it's it's a component which you want to render it like wrap both of these components, uh, put them between the login context. And something that is important is you got to pass a provider. So to do that, we can just say dot provider. And we got to put this over here as well, login context provider. And basically, what this means is we're just going to pass this and turn this into a provider. And we can pass certain values over here that are going to represent um, that are going to represent uh, the states that we want to share. So the idea is over here, we're going to pass an object instead of this value property, we're going to pass an object inside of here, which is going to contain all the different states that we want to share between these two components. And well, that means that we actually won't create the username state inside of the login, we create all the states that we want to share on the higher order component. So the parent component, we're going to create this over here. So we're creating both show profile and username over here. And now we can pass to value the username over here and also set username. Why do we pass this? Well, basically, remember, we want to pass into this value property over here an object containing all the different things that we want to access in all the components that are inside of this login context provider. So for example, in our login, we want to change the username. So let's pass the set username so that we can access it over here. And on the profile, we want to access the username. So I can like imagine I can just come over here and say username. So we need both of this information that we need to pass both of this information, right? So now that we have this, how do we actually access either username or set username in one of the components? Well, now it's is the part where the use context hook comes into place. So in the login.js, I want to access the set username, right? So to do that, first, I'll just import use context here at the top. And I'll need also to import the login context, like we did before, because we have to have access to it. So login context uh, from dot slash, actually, I need to put two dots slash context slash login context. And now the only thing we need to do is we need to destructure the variables that we got from the login context. So in this case, we only want the set username. So what I can do is I can come over here and say set uh, const sorry, set username equal to use context, and pass the login context. What this means is, I'm basically saying, well, I want to use, I want to grab the login context. And I want to grab the set username variable that we're passing through that context provider. And now we can use this in this application. And similarly, we can copy this in our profile. And by the way, I'll just import also use context here. And I'll put the this over here, I need to copy this, I'll paste it over here, I need to import the login context, I just imported both of them. And now what I can do is I can do the same thing that I did over here. But instead of importing set username, I can import username.
which is the variable that we want. And now we have access to that state. And you might be wondering, well, does it automatically change? Well, let's check. So remember that when I click on this button, oh, for now, actually, I don't think we are. Yeah. Oh, one thing that is important, we also want to pass set show provider, right? So show provider will only just either render profile or login. But in our login, we want to have a button where we can click and change the value for show provider, show profile. So what we can do is, again, come over here and say set show profile. We're just passing the variables over here are the functions, uh, either one of those. So instead of here, we also want to grab set show provider, show profile, sorry, I'm saying this wrong with show set show profile. And after the button is clicked, I just want to set set the show to I just want to set show profile. So set show profile equals to true. And this is again, underlying the, the, the topic that I'm gonna that I'm explaining to you guys. So let's try to see if it's working. If I come over here and I put my username to Pedro 5280, it is it should be changing the value for the username. Now I'll put whatever password I want. And when I click on this button, this over here should disappear because we, we changed the value for set show profile. And now it should be showing the profile component, which only has the profile like a header saying profile and a header saying username. So let's try that. One, two, three. And as you can see, it works. Not only it updated like the the state from the parent component. So in the login, we, we set set show profile, but the variable for that the state for that is on the top, it's in the parent, not only it did that, but it also kept it kept kept track of the username throughout all the siblings components. So that's the idea. The basic idea of the context API is you just create context providers, you pass states from the parent to all the different siblings or uh, all the different children's actually that you want to have access to that state. And instead of them, you can just use the use context hook to have access to the value, to the values and to the functions that change those states. So that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below because I'm answering every single comment. And please subscribe because I'm posting every single day and I would really appreciate it. And I see you guys next time.